Police in Hayward have just released body cam video of a deadly officer involved shooting and we do want to warn you that the video is hard to watch. The 29 year old suspect was actually holding a razor blade as he approached officers in November. The man's relatives plan to file a lawsuit. Wilson Walker has more of the newly released video and what the police chief is now saying about it. Wilson. Yeah, it was November 15th, uh, around 9 o'clock. Uh, a man called 911. He said that a neighbor's boyfriend was threatening him with what he thought was a knife. And well, now we can finally see what happened in the moments right after those 911 calls. And again, we do want to warn you that the video is graphic. Okay, the male wearing a red shirt with black stripes and jeans was supposed to be the one with the knife. In surveillance video, we see pretty much what was reported to 911 an altercation in the street and a man that appears to be armed with a knife. Police arrive, and about seven seconds later, the shots are fired. Shots fired. I'm not. I'm not trying to explain why this happened. I'm not trying to justify why it took place. I'm simply trying to provide information so the community knows what happened that night. Hayward Police Chief Mark Kohler says releasing this video is about transparency. He declined to draw any conclusions from it, but that is not the case for the family of 29-year-old Augustin Gonzalez. Augustine was my only son. The family says video shows officers making a snap decision upon arrival. Their attorney, John Burris, says the 13 bullets fired were all unnecessary. You should bring out your bean bags or your other pepper spray. Any number of things that are there that are available that these officers all had that could have been used at the time that they were there without using deadly force. The one thing I can say is that we are determined to get the answers to this. But this is an extremely serious investigation. It's very, it is, it is very serious to me, and I expect to have the questions that the community has and the questions that I have answered. So the police department's investigation still unfolding, as is the investigation by the district attorney's office to see whether those officers acted lawfully. Now, as for the family that was here at uh, John Burris's office today, they have not officially filed suit against Hayward or the police department yet, but all indications are that lawsuit would be forthcoming. Uh, live in Oakland, Wilson Walker, KPIX5.